we touched on it earlier, Mara, that uh, you can foster a dog, which mm -hmm. is, you know, volunteering your time. You guys could really use a lot of volunteer help if, uh, if you could get as much as you can, really. Mm -hmm. And uh, to do really anything from financial contributions to fostering dogs, um, to probably even coming and walking the dogs exactly. and just kind of getting them out. Uh, it, what are some ways, I guess, we really need to share? How do we find out about volunteering? Just go to the website, I assume? You know, you can either go to the website and drop an email from that, or you can call the animal shelter and, and tell them when you are available to come and uh, either hang out with the cats and socialize them or dogs or if you want to walk the dogs. And it can be as simple as right. I just, I, it's a beautiful day. I'd love to go for a walk. Why don't exactly. I stop by the shelter, grab a dog, okay, and go for a walk? Exactly. You know? Or even, um, you know, spending one-on-one -on -one time with them. You can even teach them to sit or lay down or, you know, just a few moments and it can change a dog's life. It yep. makes them more adoptable. So. Uh, and, uh, and so we've got some... We talked on uh, fundraising a little bit, but we didn't really touch on any events. I okay. know we have one event that's uh, in the rear view mirror here right. that we just did. What was that called? The that was called the Romp and Stomp. The and Romp and Stomp. Yeah, it's for cross-country skiing and snowshoeing, and we did it at Grand Lake Golf Course, okay. which is this cross-country right ski on the, area. Right Beautiful. on Rocky Mountain National Park. Yeah, so the it was views gorgeous. Are unbelievable. And uh, people were there yesterday having fun. Um, to skiing around, they allowed us to use the whole course, which was beautiful, and the conditions were... So you guys do that every winter then? We do, every February. Every February. Uh, February is, I believe it's Spay and Neuter Month. Um, Bob Barker's favorite month for yeah, what I hear, for I understand. We love him. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so we do that, and then our next upcoming event is um, the Doggy Drag in June. Okay, so that doesn't have the best, and that makes me think of Chevy Chase when I hear the Doggy <laughs> Drag. But, but what does is, what is the Doggy Drag refer to? Uh, people getting out in uh, the Grand Park Meadow, and we do a 2K and a 5K walk run just with your pets or without your pets, with your family, and um, the money going... So a 2K. So if you're not a big runner, yeah. we're not looking for a huge commitment from your athletic abilities exactly. here. Exactly. You can, you can just walk, walk it. That's, that, exactly. that's just over a mile, right? A mile yeah. and a quarter. So, yeah. so, uh, so we can all handle that. So yeah. get your dogs out and you come. And, and uh, how are we? Are people donating money, sponsoring you on your run or There's walk? an entry fee. Okay. And so that's the first part of it. And then we have a silent auction. Um, and so after the run, you can go and purchase something. Uh, usually from local vendors or stores, or um, and we auction those off. And There's always an auction in this town. Every fundraiser, exactly. I guess these days, you know, it's, it's a great way to raise some money. Yeah. And we get and a lot of local support, which is wonderful to see all the yeah. donations that come in for things like this. And it's mostly about awareness, just to let people know that our shelter is pet friendly, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, we are looking for volunteers and donations. And uh, if you want to become a member of Grand County Pet Pals. Uh, how, do, how does that process work? You know, you can go onto the website, and it, there's a f uh, few different ways, a uh, few different levels of membership. You can do individual, family, business, um, and, um, and those all go towards those uh, food and... and uh, food, spay, neuter, exactly. all the... Mostly the spaying and the neutering is the most important mission mm -hmm. that we have, and education. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Mara, thanks so much for being on the show, and uh, thanks for all you do with Grand County Pet Pals and for all the little animals of our community, <laughs> especially Owen here. I know he's ex eternally grateful since he's now had a home with you for about two years. Yeah, way? yeah. Well, thanks again for coming on. We'll we appreciate hope it. Hope to have you back soon. And uh, that's going to gonna wrap it up. Check these guys out at uh, gcpetpals.org. And, uh, yeah, it's been a great show. I'm excited to get outside, check out this Wells Fargo Ski Cup because it is a blast. It's going to be a great weekend. All the events going on, silent auction, mm -hmm. and uh, lots of excitement. So. Big thanks to all our guests on the show today. Um, Sarah Wick, of course, our out and about gal. Um, always fun to see where she's at and what she's up to. Uh, Jonathan Monroe, the Wells Fargo area president. Uh, can't thank him enough for taking his time to drive all the way up here from Boulder uh, to be on our show. Uh, Wells Fargo is one of the title sponsors, or I'm sorry, is the title sponsor of the Wells Fargo Ski Cup. And uh, they've been doing it for 41 years. So pretty, pretty impressive, pretty incredible, all that they do, not only for the Wells Fargo Ski Cup, but for all the communities uh, that they are a part of. Uh, big thanks to Hal O'Leary, founder of the NSCD. Uh, hard to believe it's been 46 years that the NSCD has been around, so pretty incredible. Uh, Mark Urich, um, the outdoorsman, the Paralympic hopeful, and uh, ski team member. That guy's a legend. You know, he's awesome. And not only that, but uh, I'm really excited to hear his beautiful voice singing the national anthem uh, to kick off the festivities. So, thanks so much for hanging out with us, guys. I'm going to get out there. Hope to see you out there, and uh, have a great day on the slopes. Take care.